I'm running out of time for all that. I gotta do that soon. We gotta go see what it is. We gotta go. Do you guys wanna unbox my wedding dress with me? There she is. Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a weekend vlog. Um, okay, I think my mic is still acting up and I just went through my boxes to try to find my other mic and I can't find it. So I might just have to go and buy a new one again. But until then, I'll just try to not move my camera a lot. Sorry, but thank you. I had a great morning. Um, it's actually fun. Some of Jordy's friends were playing a show in San Diego last night. So I hosted the whole band. Their name's Sawyer. Um, Emma and Kel are the two girls in that band and they're great. And so we had a little breakfast party this morning. Actually, I'll show you. I was just cleaning it up. But earlier this week, I opened subscription boxes. And one of them was the Bon Mon Mon subscription box. And so we had a toast party and we tried so many, like I have like 24 jams. So we had a little toast party. They just hit the road to drive to San Francisco. So that was fun. Every once in a while, Instagram shows me a DM on my home screen. I think it like connected to Facebook. It's very weird, but I just got this DM from someone named Alexis. Alexis, if this is you, thank you. I need to message you back. Who said, I know you're looking for a big mirror and the Oceanside Estate Sale Warehouse has one right now. We gotta go see what it is. We gotta go. I don't even know what it looks like. I'm getting ahead of myself, but I wanna go see what that is. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna finish like getting ready for the day and we can go, but something else so fun okay we have something to open together these are my favorite because it's just so fun to get to share my thrive market order with you a little unboxing never hurt anybody i'm getting to work with them on today's video y'all probably know this by now but i've been paying for thrive market since way before i ever got to work with them they're an online membership based grocery store so what that means is you pay for your membership i pay annually which comes to like five dollars a month and then you have access to all their products i get all of my pantry stuff, cleaning stuff, Mac stuff, some beauty stuff, a lot of things from there because every single order is guaranteed savings. You are able to access their things cheaper than you would in store. I just save so much time by having it shipped to me, especially living here now. Oh my gosh, grocery stores are so expensive here. Something I love about it is also, it's so easy if you have dietary restrictions to just filter by your restriction. So I'm gluten-free, I click gluten-free and it will only show me things I can eat. So I don't have to read labels. I'll show you what I got this time. I stocked up on a lot of basics cause I'm kind of starting over in our pantry. So things like flour um, and this, I think I got it for 9.49. I saved $20 and 10 cents on this order. Then I got gluten-free oats to have on hand for baking or breakfast, some snacks. These are my favorite chips. These jalapeno lime late July, they're so good. I just wanted to try these. I've never tried these before. Cinnamon wrapped cashews by Karma. Have y'all tried Kin? This flavor I tried for the first time the other day out and about and I loved it. Kin is like a mocktail in a can and it has adaptogens. I think this one has caffeine. It has green tea extract, but this one kind of wakes you up a little bit. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, 33 milligrams. So it's a fun little afternoon treat. Baking soda, baking powder. Like I said, starting over. I know I told you all the other day I ran out of salt. So I got more of my flaky sea salt and I got a special salt. Look at this. I'm so excited to try this. It's truffle salt from Truff. Miso paste. I've really gotten into miso lately. It's really good on lots of meats, like a fish. So good. And then I got some, a couple little cleaning things. I love these rosy cloths just to, um, dust or surface clean, some toilet bowl cleaner, and then some more fruit and veggie wash. Pretty much staples for the home besides the fun mocktails and, and such. But my best hack to you is I always order at least $49 of things because then it ships for free. And who doesn't love free shipping? Oh, also free. I have a gift for you. If you wanna sign up and try your first Thrive Market order, I have a link, thrivemarket.com slash Mikkel And that's gonna get you a free gift, valued at up to $60 and 30% off your whole order. So I always tell people like, if you're on the fence, just get a huge first order, stock up on a ton so you save that additional 30% on all of it. And um, it's also handy if you're moving and you need to get all the things, all the cleaning products and all the new pantry staples and all that sort of stuff. Gonna put all this away. I think we run to the estate sale warehouse ASAP. Another day, another trip to see the cow. You can't even see it. 
the Estates of Warehouse, it's like logo is a cow. So there's cows everywhere. I wonder how many more times I'll come here with y'all. Probably a lot. <laughs> so this is the mirror. It's the perfect size, but the detail is a little ornate for my taste. I was actually looking up, I think it'd be fun to do like travertine or like tile around the edge of one. So I kind of considered trying to DIY one later, unless this price is really good. There's not a sticker on it. So I might ask and just see how much the price is, but I kind of even think just getting like a mere panel from Home Depot and then DIYing my own border around it is gonna be the most cost effective way and could be fun to do with y'all, you know, when life is a little more settled. So, but we'll ask, we'll see. This hutch would be a really fun flip for the bathroom because I want something with glass on the top to display like towels and art and stuff. But I think it's a little too wide. If it was like half of that, I'd be so tempted. Ugh, oh, man, 450 is not bad for a piece this size. This old $30 antique rug could be really cool wall art, but those colors are a little too primary for me. If it was just those, I'd be really into it. Waiting for them to get me a price on this, but I guess it sold in that amount of time. So it's a sign. <laughs> Sorry that every single vlog I take y'all thrifting and then to a plant store, but there's a new one I haven't gone to called Plant Play. And um, apparently it's great. It looks like the OG spot, like not like super trendy cute but let's see i'm still looking for affordable little house plants and maybe a tree for the bedroom i accidentally clicked the wrong thing on maps and i'm at plantology cafe not plant play but this place is really cute too it's a coffee shop and there's a lot of indoor plants i'm looking at the trees out here look at this hanging cactus thing that is some else but their prices are actually pretty good here so i'll look around oh my gosh look at that so cool Got some new babies after all. I'm looking for one really traily one for the shelving in the kitchen and some hair for my bust planter. And I didn't see any tall trees, but those are the things on my list. So two out of three is not bad. I might just go to Home Depot for a tall tree. We'll see. I just realized I need to try to be home today because I think my wedding dress arrives today and I have to, I have to sign for it um, or else I have to go pick it up. So I'm gonna have to get it altered. We're gonna have to get shoes before I alter it, right? Wedding stuff has been on the back burner. <laughs> I haven't done anything wedding related in a long time. Um, I'm running out of time for all that. I gotta do that soon. But I'm excited to see the dress. I also actually need to try on a couple things and get y'all's opinions. Do you remember how I tried to do photos with Jordy at the lighthouse and we went and the lighthouse was closed so we ended up just going to Marina instead? I had a online friend reach out who's a photographer out here and offer to do pictures at the lighthouse with us which is so exciting and her work is beautiful um and so we are going to be doing that in a couple weeks but i had already worn my dress for the boats and i wanted to get another look if we're going to do another shoot but i didn't want to buy another dress so i rented a couple that was a long story that had no real purpose but i rented a couple dresses they just arrived yesterday and i want to try them on and see if either of them kind of work for the vision i have um, but then i had to get a couple other things so like this is a rental and i got all just white sweaters because i guess i live at the beach now and you live in white sweaters <laughs> oh my gosh do you guys want to unbox my wedding dress with me ah! i hope my veil's in here too i should have cut more Okay, 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 I'll cut a little more. I'm just nervous. Ah, okay. It's a box and a box. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right. Oh, it's handwritten. Okay, this must be the dress. <laughs> I'll show you all the veil. I already showed it in an Instagram reel. The veil, honestly, really won me over. I was like, I'm not gonna wear a veil. That's not me. And I tried this one on and I was like, I'm gonna wear a veil. It's like cathedral length. Let's see, which way is the, how do I, wait. Can you see it? Can you see the bottom? Can you see it? It's like cathedral. I don't know what you can see guys, I'm sorry. I'll probably only wear it for just a little bit the day of because it does take a lot of thinking to get it to lay properly. <laughs> oh my gosh. There she is. Wow. Anyways, 
where were we? We were talking about the office. Um, so I had to center the couch last night because this was pulled out as a guest bed because we had guests in every room. But I had some girls over, y'all saw, and some of them work in interior design. And they said what they think I should do is just go ahead and try moving this desk a little bit further over because the window is not centered on the wall. I'm not convinced, but they think if I move this desk over, extend the curtains a bit to make it look more centered, then I can leave the couch centered and still maybe access the drawers, but I'm really not convinced. So I'm gonna try to <laughs> deconstruct this room, um, put this couch back together and see if I can shimmy the desk over a bit and see what we think about it. It all fits. Does it look weird? But then what do I do with this weird little corner over here? I could put a big tree there too. Actually, that could be kind of nice. I wish the movers didn't leave my nine foot tray. What would you do with this space? I do think a tree makes, makes sense. I need to get two trees. We could just continue on our plant adventure and go to Home Depot. We could do that and see what types of affordable trees they have there. We can always go see. There's a few things I want to do first uh, before we do that. So let's do a few things and then we'll and then we'll see. Ooh, look, I found a new spot to prop my camera. That's my favorite thing about like moving into a new home is like figuring out all the little spots to perch a camera. But okay, um, let's do all the dress things at once. I'm going to try on both these dresses and see which one is more the vibe. What I'm going for is timeless kind of romantic, I, I said this in the last time that I um, took pictures, like you can't quite tell what decade the photos were taken in. So this one is an anthropology dress and it has kind of poofy sleeves. It's just kind of really needs to be steamed. It's just kind of simple white. This dress is a little more similar to the last one that I wore, but it has this really pretty open back, but it's collared and it has kind of like a little lace detail. Oh, they're both anthropology. They're both the same brand, the M-A-E-V-E -E, Maeve by Anthro. I like this one so much more than I thought I would. Look at the back, look at how pretty this is. This kind of totally fits the vibe. It fits really well too. It's always scary ordering rentals because you're like, I got one shot. What size am I, you know? I had kind of thought the other one was gonna be the one, but I really like this. Let's try on the second. Okay, this one's really wrinkly, so it's a little bit harder to picture, but it does give very like soft romantic effortless feels. Um, I think this would be perfect for on the actual beach. Let me see if I can show you. This one is more maxi. It's like a little bit shorter than maxi, but it is really pretty. But I kind of feel like the first option fits timeless lighthouse. I'm trying not to use the word vibes because I use it too much. Aesthetic. <laughs> That's both of these. Cast your vote. I will be checking before the photos. So I think y'all would be very proud of me because yesterday I had plans that I really wanted to go to. I was looking so forward to it, but I was having just like such a bad flare day yesterday. I felt terrible. I think from doing so much mom's weekend, Halloween, girls night, like all these things back to back to back. I was basically hosting for a week straight. Um, and I, my body just was like, it felt like it was falling apart. It felt like I just needed to be home. And I was going back and forth because I really wanted to go to these plans. And honestly, a big thing is I'm like, I want to be a person of my word. I want to I wanna be the person that says I'm going to be somewhere and shows up. I don't want to be flaky. I've never been that type of person. I don't cancel on people. And it was a thing that I think 16 people were going to. So it's not like I was canceling on one single person. But nevertheless, even though it was really hard for me, I ended up last minute deciding I had to text to the girl that coordinated it and tell her I'm so sorry I'm just having a bad health day and I really feel like I need to stay in and that is hard for me to do but one thing I found I made a TikTok about this that helped with the FOMO was I just immaculate immaculate vibes for a night at home like lit the fireplace turned on music got the coziest blanket showered flipped through 
uh, home books for like home inspiration. And that helped the FOMO because I was having a great time. Something that I was talking to Jordi about is how interesting it is to move somewhere and to build new community because you can kind of start fresh and it's a little bit easier to rid of the unhealthy patterns that you found yourself in previously because you were kind of like known as a certain type of person. So for me previously, I feel like I was known as the type of person that would never flake and I would kind of put my health last. Um, there are some other unhealthy habits that I think that I've kind of gotten into and just friendships that I implemented myself and then I said, no, I'm the friend that does this, so I don't wanna not be that all of a sudden. And it's kind of nice to be like, these people don't know me yet and I can kind of start my foundation here as the person that says, hey, I struggle with some health things, so occasionally, even if I really wanna be there, I might have to last minute call an audible and like stay home and rest. And for some reason for me, that's easier to, to implement with a whole new community. They're new to me, I'm new to them. And it's a healthy habit that I wish I had implemented previously. It, it's intimidating to start over and to find a new community and to find new friends and to find your place and all that. But there's also a lot of freedom in it too. And it's kind of like a new year, you know, how like New Year's resolutions are a thing and it just feels mentally easier because you're like, this is a whole new year. I can change everything. Um, I can implement those healthy habits. Kind of feels like that about to wrap this up and then well I actually need to check I'm debating going to this thing for my church tonight um it's a live recording of their album because I want to see friends but I also would really like to go to the beach and oh here we go 6 p.m maybe I can do the beach before it's already three math okay I'm gonna wrap up this work we'll go to Home Depot and then I'll figure all that out all the trees over here are like palm, palm adjacent, which I actually really don't like palm looking things inside. I don't know why. I think because they're normally like so obviously faux that even when they're real, they give like vacation rental cheap cheapness. You know what I mean? Okay, not what I'm here for, but these are dragon fruit plants. And look at how cool they look. Look at those like wavy scalloped edges. I, I think I'm going to have to get a cart. I can get one of these. I wonder if they will fruit if I keep it long enough. Where do you find trees? <laughs> There's none here. Maybe I'll just give up and get a Christmas tree for the rest of the year and figure it out next year. I think if I get ready and leave in the next five minutes, I just got home, but I think if I get ready and leave in the next five minutes, I have time to go see the sunset at the beach before church tonight. Just gotta feed Max and like freshen up a little. That's easy. Look at how weird this is. It was just bright sunny and now out of nowhere, like at first I thought there was maybe a fire, but I think this is just like a cloud that came out of nowhere at 4 p.m. What the heck? I can't even see more than like 100 feet ahead. <gasps> Guys, we're literally in like a huge cloud right now. That's the ocean. Can't even see it. I can only hear it. And it's so damp and cool. It's actually really fun. I love to see all the ways that the terrain and the weather and everything just changes. It's so diverse. I don't know, Texas is pretty diverse. Last week it went from 80 one day to a high of 31 the next day. Isn't that wild? My hair is literally getting wet from sitting out here, but I really like life here. Even on my own, even when Jordy's not here for two weeks at a time, I really like life here and I'm really surprised by that. If he would have asked me two years ago if I'd like to move back to California, I'd say, mm-mm. But something about this, it's just, LA, LA Beach is hit different in a bad way. But like a real beach where you're like by yourself pretty much for, forever and just in nature is so soothing. 
and I get a little bit of like the New England sailboaty type thing that I love without the cold that I would not be able to do in New England if I lived there. If, if it was warm in Maine year round, I'd for sure live there, but I really like life here. It's like the closest I can get with the temperature that I can handle. You know what I'm gonna do? Moving forward, I'm gonna start taking Saturday Sundays off. Right now I've been wanting to film Saturday Sundays, Saturdays, because Jordy has been gone. I think I'm going to take tomorrow to catch up on all the things, all the wedding things I've been procrastinating, all the like tasks that I haven't been able to do because I've been moving and hosting and working. I'm gonna have a bit of a catch up morning tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to. I'm actually going back to the outlet stores with my friend. She's shopping for her nursery right now. And I'm like, I'll go look with you. She said it's a new inventory every Thursday. It's like a whole new store. So y'all have just seen that when the moms were here. I don't wanna to do too many duplicate things in a row. So I think that's my plan. I might just end off the vlog here, go to church. I'm kind of keeping church a little bit of a sacred space as well. Um, and not vlogging there or anything. Thanks for spending a weekend day with me. I also wanted to say thanks again to Thrive Market for partnering with me on this video. Don't forget thrivemarket.com slash Jancy to get 30% off your first order and then that free gift. Valued it up to $60. I'm gonna sing that over that loud wave. Thanks for coming on this new part of life with me. It's really fun to watch it all unfold and hey, this is life now. This, this is, this is life now. It's pretty fun. I love y'all. Bye.